too scared to talk because everyone is still asleep. It is so quiet. We're just heading to breakfast. We leave in an hour to go and see the actual Petra thing that you guys know. I can't remember the name, but it's like the facade, the cool bit of Petra. So we're going out today for like a big tour, but I wanted to show you around because yesterday it was so dark. Good morning, Steve. Good morning, everybody. It's so quiet. It's the old oh city God. of Petra going up, isn't it? Yeah, that's it, the old city of Petra. Thanks, Steve. Okay. Fun, yeah. <laughs> the cool bit, the Indiana Jones bit. The Indiana Jones bit. <laughs> you guys can probably see better now. See how there's like a lot of little tents everywhere. And then we're surrounded by all this rock. We're like in the middle of a valley. <laughs> I've got my white sugar, it's fine, I don't need the magnet. <laughs> He's the famous here, Jildi. He's famous? Yes, Jildi. Yeah, I'm famous, give it for free, thank you. You are famous? <laughs> I want to tell you something. You are the Harak and you are Thank you. Alright, Steve, you can officially go and explore now. Let's go explore Petra. <laughs> So as we walk through Petra, we're going to see a lot of these caves here. 400 years ago, they were tombs. 30 years ago, they were houses. Guys, this is where I'm going to toot the horn of vlogging. I think it is such the future of tourism because when I've seen Petra, the only thing I've seen is the facade, which I'm sure all of you have seen. I had no idea that there was this two kilometer walk to actually get there. So and there were so many more facades, not just the one that we've seen because that got famous from Indiana Jones or whatever. Like there's so many, this reminds me kind of Egypt, but Jordan style, because they're all tombs. Yeah. It's amazing. And then, uh, yeah, the Bedouin people, they just moved in and they just started living here for 30 years and then it became a UNESCO no, site. they were living here until 30 years ago. Oh, until 30 so years 30 ago. 30 years ago it became a UNESCO site and then they kicked out all the Bedouin people and now they all live like in tents or in villages around the area. So they actually turned these tombs and caves into their home. I hope you guys are going to enjoy this vlog because we're going to show you the whole way, like the whole walk through there. Of course, we're going to show you the famous site that everyone comes there for. This is why I love vlogging because you can really just capture the moment of everything that you can do at a place. This is just one of the many tombs. Also, it's got a bit of an Egyptian influence in there and it was for a family of four so epic for a tomb all right guys we are now entering the gorge it takes 1.2 kilometers to walk right through the gorge and we're going to end at that famous facade that you guys have all seen probably the cover photo of this video I'm just guessing <laughs> definitely the cover photo of this video <laughs> Hi. Hi. oh we're fine oh, thank you, thank you. <laughs> this is seriously giving me Arizona vibes right now it goes actually quite high. This is so incredible. You wouldn't want this chunk to fall off. It is so big. So back in the day, the entire bottom floor of the gorge was this pavement. But now this is like all that's really left. I still think it's crazy that there are no tourists here. I know. There's it's like no literally, it's just like our group and that's it. It's awesome. You can see it a little tiny bit. Oh, so close. <laughs> Well, I suppose this is it guys. Welcome to Petra. This is the treasury. Well, they thought it was the treasury because when the raiders came in, they decided to try shoot up the giant pot up there because they thought that's where the bank of Petra was, where it wasn't, but it's still so interesting. Also, being a massive film buff, this is where they filmed Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade and they blew it up. It was really cool. Really incredible being here. It is worth it. It's not one of those sites where you come here and you think, oh, disappointment. I was blown away, especially the way that they have the entrance hall and you walk in and then just hits you in the face. It was a really awesome entrance.
This is inside one of the tombs that they've now, well, back in the day, used as houses. See the smoke from the fires they have. How cool is this? They use the sand and they make this art. It's amazing. Alrighty, we're starting the hike. It's about 800 steps. To the monastery. To the monastery, which is the biggest facade here in Petra. The treasury, which is the one everyone comes for, is about the third. It's the third, but it's the most like pristine. That's why everyone loves the treasury. 800 steps later. We've made it to the monastery. This is so worth it. No one ever mentions to come here. And I think it looks probably cooler because it's so much bigger. And there's no one here. All the crowds have gone. It really towers over you when you come up to it. It like literally... It like takes your breath away. It's that big. I can't stop looking at it. <laughs> it's so amazing that they just carved this into the side of the mountain. We found the coolest place for a rest. So there's the monastery. And then in this little cave. How cool is it? Well, you don't know when you're going to go. So don't take this shit there. You better have some fun and kind of other. So all I can say is keep some sunshine on your face. The view from up here is absolutely insane. You would not want to slip and fall down there. You know when you see a photograph online, you're like, that looks like it's super easy to get to. Uh-uh. We're about to literally walk, I don't know, an hour, hour and a half. Up here, around the back there, so we can get like an aerial view of Petra. I've seen the photographs and it looks so simple to get to, but no. I appreciate everyone that has done this photograph. I mean, we haven't done the walk yet, but we're about to do the walk. And uh, yeah, I think it's an hour and a half up a mountain to get to this shot, but it's so worth it. If we get there, fingers crossed we do, I'll show you it and you guys will agree. Hello. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Fine, thank you. Do you live around here? Yeah, I live in behind this place. Oh, nice. Cave. You ask for a group this road with a porch. Yes, we, we go, we're going up. Yeah, go up this way in a porch. Yeah, yeah, you'll be lost. Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you, you ask for, for a friend, you go back this way. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate You're it. group lost. Jess! Alrighty, let's start the walk. Oh, yeah. This donkey is just standing in the most epic spot. So nice, there's just a little tent set up here with the view. Oh my goodness, stop it. <laughs> Alrighty, I think we've found the best view in the house. A little boxes on the hillside 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 A little boxes on the hillside